This is me being super productive this morning, uploading yesterday's stage four vlog, and getting all caught up. So let's start stage five. I'm already late. God damn. I've got 13 minutes to get to the music center. It is a four lane highway. Do not occupy more than the right hand nice. lane. Smooth. One lane only. Smooth. I got also, lucky. <laughs> Please control. I'm oh, 60 is as small as I can go. I do that to you at least every time. Alright, you guys start my time. Here you go. <laughs> switch? Go! Oh, you didn't go. get there, you little bitch. Go! That one doesn't count. Switch. switch. Whatever gun does, Nick does. I didn't think there was. Cycle cross racer, I wouldn't have dropped that. Nice job, dude. Thanks, man. Good work. I thought I was gonna wrap around. I was like, oh, carry zombie. There's no way. <laughs> the stage race is done. I already got my bike cleaned, and I gotta quickly pack up all my stuff. I need to drive back to Roanoke tonight so that I can get a full day at home tomorrow before flying to California on Monday morning for sea otter. So a bit of a quick turnaround, but I'm excited. 
I'm excited to do some recovery from these five days and hopefully just be on really awesome form for sea otter. But yeah, I'm kind of in a bit of a rush because awards are in like an hour and a half or so. So I've got to pack up all my stuff, put them in the truck and also try to clean up Erica's house because I feel bad that I feel bad leaving it dirty. So I guess real quick, we'll just go over the stage. It's almost like a Champs-Élysées day today. Kind of less of a focus on the the battle for one, two, and the battle for third was more more of something to keep an eye on because Gus and Nick were only 20 seconds apart coming into the day. Cypress and I kind of got to the front on butter and just tried to stay out of trouble, grab some bacon, and then headed up the 475C monster death climb up to the top of Bracken. And Nick caught up to us, and you could see Gus just dangling off the pace back there. And then, yeah, Cypress attacked me at the top. He led into the Enduro and then pinned it down the Enduro. And then I was hoping to come around him for the stage win. But once again, I did a little investigation on the finish. Yeah, we both ended up almost blowing it. <laughs> but yeah, so second on the day, still came away with the overall win, which I'm really pumped about. I really love this race. It's just really fun going really fast on these trails. We just have the final meal and awards and then I have a four and a half hour drive home. So I gotta get to packing. The arch is coming down. The show is over. And I'll snack that broccoli. Dude, you've been tossing salad all week. I mean, I'm not tossed out. <laughs> Everyone have a good week? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Glad to hear it. Who's coming to TFC? Just one? Come on. It's more fun, I promise. I can't believe I'm the only person. All right. In third place from Nashville, North Carolina, with a time of 2.04.15, Nick Bragg. Second place with a time of 2.02.32 from Vinton, Virginia, Kerry Werner Jr. And our top step on the day with a time of 2.02.31 from Pisco Forest, North Carolina, Cypress Gorey. And for our GC competition, in third place with a combined time of 11.50. Nick Bragg in second place with a combined time of 11.22. Cypress Gorey, open category for the 2023 Pisca stage race with a time of 10.51. Kerry Werner Jr. Thanks, Single speed. 